Welcome to the Advanced Bar Model Drawing Tutorial for Comparison Word Problems. If you are new to model drawing, I recommend you first view the basic model drawing videos which can be accessed on the same website where you found this video, at this web address. The videos can be found in the grade level folders for 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th grade. You can find even more bar model problems in the bar model problems folder. We'll start this tutorial with some simple comparison word problems. Alex, Sonia, and Tony have a total of $580. Sonia has $120 more than Alex, and Tony has $190 more than Sonia. How much money does Tony have? First, we will rewrite the question in sentence form in order to maintain our focus. Tony has blank dollars. When rereading the problem, we identify the important information we need to solve the problem. Since this is a comparison problem, we can start each of the three friends out with equal size unit bars and then adjust them according to the information given. Since we are told that Sonia has $120 more than Alex, we can add another unit onto her bar and label it $120. We are also told that Tony has $190 more than Sonia, so we can add $120 onto her bar to equal what Sonia has and then an additional unit to represent the $190 more that she has than Sonia. Since we are told that they have a total of $580, we can put a bracket around all their money and label it $580. Our question mark should go at the end of Tony's unit bar, since we are asked to find out how much money she has. Now we can see that we need to find out the dollar amount for each of these blue bars that the three friends have in common. First, we have to add up the dollar amounts we know so we can find out what remains in the three blue bars. 120 times 2 plus 190 equals 240 plus 190, which equals 430. Since we know the total of all of their money is $580, we can subtract the $430 from that to find out what is left. 580 minus 430 equals 150. That means that these three blue units together total 150. Therefore, one unit will equal 150 divided by 3, which equals 50. Now we can go ahead and fill that in on our model. And finally, in order to find out how much money Tony has, we will add 50 plus 120 plus 190, which is 360. Tony has $360. Here is another simple comparison problem. I'd like you to try this one on your own. Pause the video while you solve it. When you're ready to check your answer, start the video again. Did you remember to rewrite the question in sentence form? Did you identify the important information? Does your model look similar to mine? Did you follow the same process or did you approach it another way? Did you find that the jacket costs $119? Let's move on to a multiplicative comparison problem. A hard drive costs twice as much as a 64 gigabyte jump drive, and a 32 gigabyte jump drive costs half as much as a 64 gigabyte jump drive. If the hard drive costs $140, find the total cost. First, we will rewrite the question in sentence form in order to maintain our focus. The total cost is blank dollars. When rereading the problem, we identify the important information we need to solve the problem. Since this is a comparison problem, we can start each of the three drives out with equal sized unit bars. From here, we should reread the problem again to determine which of the three drives costs less and adjust the others accordingly. It looks like the 32 gigabyte jump drive is the cheapest because it costs half as much as a 64 gigabyte jump drive. That means the 64 gigabyte jump drive should be twice as many as the 32 gigabyte drive so we can add another unit onto the 64 gigabyte bar. Now, looking at the problem again, we are told that a hard drive costs twice as much as a 64 gigabyte jump drive. That means the hard drive unit bar should be twice as long as the 64 gigabyte drive's bar, so we can add three more equal size units onto it. We are also told that the hard drive costs $140, so we should indicate that at the end of the unit bar. To complete our model, we are asked to find the total cost for all the drives, so we can bracket the model and place our question mark here. Now we are ready to let our model drive the math. 
we can see that our first step should be to find out how much each of these equal size units represents. Take a look at the hard drive unit bar. We can see that 4 units equals $140, so that means that 1 unit should be 140 divided by 4, which is 35. Let's go ahead and fill that in for each of the remaining units. Finally, we need to find the total, and there are 7 units total, so 7 times 35 equals 245. The total cost is $245. Here's another multiplicative comparison problem. I'd like you to try this one on your own. Pause the video while you solve it. When you're ready to check your answer, start the video again. Did you remember to rewrite the question in sentence form? Did you identify the important information? Did you give Julie four units since the problem states that Tracy earned three-fourths as much as Julie? Did you give Tracy three equal size units to represent her having three-fourths as much as Julie? Did you give Shannon two equal size units to show that she earned two-thirds as much as Tracy? Did you place $44 at the end of Julie's unit bar? Did you recognize that the problem asks how much less Shannon earned than Tracy? That's this little piece right here. Did you remember to place your question mark? Did you reason that if 4 units equals 44, then 1 unit equals 44 divided by 4, which equals 11? Did you find that Shannon earned $11 less than Tracy? Does your model look different than mine? It's okay if you didn't approach the problem the same way I did. The best way to solve any problem is the, be the way that's best for you and that makes sense to you. As long as we get the same answer, or at least the right answer, and we can justify our answer and the work that backs it up, then it's good math. Now we're ready to look at some comparison problems combining addition and multiplication. Sadie spent twice as much money as Kim. Kim spent $150 less than Jason. Jason spent $45 more than Sadie. How much money did they spend all together? First, we should rewrite the question in sentence form in order to maintain our focus. They spent blank dollars all together. When rereading the problem, we identify the important information we need to solve the problem. Where should we start with this problem? How about with the easy part? Let's write down the names of the people involved in this problem. Sadie, Kim, and Jason. Since I know this is a comparison problem, I can decide who will have the fewest units before I start sketching out my model, or I can start them out with equal size unit bars. If I try to figure out who has the fewest units, that means I have to reread the problem with that in mind. Since we are told that Sadie spent twice as much as Kim, she will have more units than Kim, so between the two of them, Kim has fewer units. We are also told that Jason spent $45 more than Sadie, so it looks like he has the most units. That leaves Kim with the fewest units, so let's start with her and give her the first unit bar. Now that Kim has a unit bar, we can give Sadie two units since she spent twice as much money as Kim. We are also told that Jason spent $45 more than Sadie, so we can give him the same number of units that Sadie has, and then add 45 onto the end of that. Finally, we are told that, Skin, that Kim spent 150 less than Jason, which means that this section here equals 150. We are asked to find how much they spent all together, so we can bracket the model and place our question mark at the end. Now we're ready to let our model drive the math. Since we know that this piece here totals 150 because it's the difference between what Kim and Jason spent, we can subtract 45 from 150 to find the remaining piece here equals 105. We can go ahead and write that in here. Now, since we know that the rest of the units are the same size as the 105 we just figured out, we can go ahead and write those amounts in too. Our last step is to add all the units together. We have five same size units representing 105 plus the 45 on Jason's bar. That makes 525 plus 45, which equals 570. They spent $570 altogether. Here's another comparison problem involving addition and multiplication. This one is a little different than the last one, though, so I'll walk you through it. Harless is five years younger than Janae. Sherry is three times as old as Janae. Together, Harless's and Janae's total age is 20 years less than Sherry's age. How old is Sherry? Yikes! Are you ready to give up before we even get started? You're not alone. Before model drawing, this sort of problem would cause many of my students to shut down. 
But now that students have model drawing as a strategy, students are eager to attack it, and they frequently ask for more difficult problems, just so they can experience a feeling of success again. First, we should rewrite the question in a sentence form in order to maintain our focus. Sherry is blank years old. When rereading the problem, we identify the important information we need to solve the problem. Since this is a comparison problem, I can try and figure out who is the youngest first, or I can just start everyone out with the same size unit in common. Let's start everyone off with equal units this time and adjust accordingly. Since we are told that Harless is five years younger than Janae, that means that Janae is also five years older than Harless, so we can add five units onto Janae's bar. Next, we are told that Sherry is three times as old as Janae, so one time would look like this, and two times would look like this, and three times would look like this. We have to find out how old Sherry is, so our question mark can go here. Then we are told that together, Harless's and Janae's total age is 20 years less than Sherry's age. We can reflect that on Sherry's bar, which means that these pieces right here are equivalent to Harless and Janae's age together. So if their combined age is 20 years less than Sherry's, then that means that Sherry is 20 years older than their combined age, which means that this remaining section is equal to 20. Now we are ready to let our model drive the math. Looking at the remaining section again, 5 plus 5 equals 10. So to figure out how many years the blue piece represents, we can subtract 10 from 20 to find that the blue piece equals 10. That means all these other blue pieces also equal 10. The final step to finding out Sherry's age is to add 10 3 times plus 5 3 times. 10 times 3 equals 30 and 5 times 3 equals 15 and 30 plus 15 equals 45. Sherry is 45 years old. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? One more problem and we're done. I'd like you to try this one on your own. Pause the video while you solve it. When you're ready to check your answer, start the video again. Did you remember to rewrite the question in sentence form? Did you identify the important information? Does your model look similar to mine? Did you follow the same process? Or did you approach it another way? Did you find that Josh, Lisa, and Kurt have 168 jelly beans all together? This concludes this tutorial on comparison word problems with bar model drawing. I hope you will take the time to explore other Singapore math videos. It's just plain good math.